somewhere between 1.4 and 3 million years ago, herpes jumped the species barrier to infect human ancestors. Today, humans are still living with the virus, but scientists think they've just figured out where it came from. In modern humans that herpes simplex virus manifests in two ways, cold sores HSV1 and genital herpes HSV2. The earliest proto-humans took HSV1 with them, when our lineage split from chimpanzees around 7 million years ago, but managed to leave behind HSV2. Humanity didn't quite dodge the genital herpes bullet though. The human herpes simplex virus Dr. Microbe Jetty Images a team of scientists from the universities of Cambridge and Oxford Brooks believe they've identified the species responsible for helping HSV2 jump from African apes back into our human ancestors. Paranthropus Boise, described as having a smallish brain and dish-like face, is to blame. P. Boise is a hominin, the tribe to which our species belongs, that complex data modeling shows would have been in close contact with Homo erectus back in the day. The infection is likely to have made its way into P. Boise through scavenged chimp meat, and while hominins with HSV1 may have been initially protected from HSV2, which also occupied the mouth, the virus in adapted to a different mucosal niche. Aka it relocated to the genitals. The cast of a P-Boise skull used for teaching at Cambridge Louise WALSH herpes infect everything from humans to coral, with each species having its own specific set of viruses, said senior author Dr. Charlotte Holcroft, a virologist from Cambridge's Department of Archaeology. For these viruses to jump species barriers they need a lucky genetic mutation combined with significant fluid exchange. In the case of early hominins, this means through consumption or intercourse, or possibly both. Contact between early human ancestors and P. Boise would have been fairly common around water sources, providing the opportunity for HSV2 to settle into our bloodline. There's also the possibility that Homo erectus, which appeared around 2 million years ago, around the same time as evidence of hunting and butchery, was consuming the infected material from P. Boise. By modeling the available data, from fossil records to viral genetics, we believe that Paranthropus boise was the species in the right place at the right time to both contract HSV2 from ancestral chimpanzees and transmit it to our earliest ancestors, probably Homo erectus, Holcroft added. The skull of Homo erectus WL8074 Getty Imagish Holcroft and collaborator Dr. Simon Underdown, a human evolution researcher from Oxford Brooks, collated climate, DNA and fossil data which they applied to a model created fellow academic Dr. Krishna Kumar. Climate fluctuations over millennia caused forests and lakes to expand in contract, said Underdown. Layering climate data with fossil locations helped us determine the species most likely to come into contact with ancestral chimpanzees in the forests, as well as other hominins at water sources. After some promising leads turned out to be nothing, P. Boise was found to be in the right place and a genetic fit virally.